Shalom Israel. Kahalaliam la, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Braktam, Shema Yashavala, Alahayana, wa Yahweh Achad. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone and the salutation to the elect Akim, who worship the truth in the four corners of highways and byways. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And to the other sincere aquats who push it, you know, who listen to the husband in our sincerity. Damn dragon. Anyway, uh, is Brother Bardania here, back to you. So, let us come to the quick video to show you know, demonstrate what is the market base exactly according to scripture and not according to what people think, what people are always saying, you know. um. Because people really think that the mark of the beast is just basically the, the tattoo there that the man get on here right now. But the mark of the beast is not ink. Because you can buy or sell with ink. Because the scripture mentioned that you can be able to buy or sell with this mark. Alright? So, with further ado, let me go into the video and break this down quick. Is the latest innovation that's drawing worldwide attention. Pretty quick and easy. <laughs> it was. I didn't really feel anything, to be honest. Central Wisconsin company offering its employees a microchip plant. How the party to kick off the new program. Around 50 employees at Three Square Market gather. <laughs> like always, our ESA is one set of devils just to line up right there, right there, right there. Bruh to get the microchip it's about the size of a grain of rice and gets implanted into the hand using a syringe participating employees will be able to use it to open doors log onto their computers and pay for snacks in the break room these people can make this thing sound nice they can want to portray it as you know a good thing you know in the noggin in people not rob you and stuff like that I can't believe though these people is the lying devil of this earth bro y'all watch the video we came across this and saw it being used in other societies. We said, why not us? Why not us? That's the attitude here at Three Square Market in River Falls. The software engineering company has taken the tech world by storm by offering to microchip employees. An opportunity that we saw to really provide something to society. President and CEO Patrick McMullen has been working on this project since January. Employees aren't required to get the chip. It's completely voluntary. They working on this since January. They working on this since the beginning, bro. A technology since so from them a computer come with a shoulder. They working on on the market base. You understand? They just keep genetically enhancing it all the time as years go by. And when it sees high time for push it, now it's the time for push it. You see that thing over there, eh? bro? Employees aren't required to get the chip. It's completely voluntary. It's a big needle, though. The company offered me the opportunity to get shit, and I agree. This is what they're gonna do. They're gonna use these these high people. You know, they're gonna use these celebrities. They're gonna use the news reporter. They're gonna use all these, you know, high ones. Especially them high stupid jakes, them two thirds of jakes. These rappers and all these people who will idolize. They're gonna show them taking this chip, and I sure they're gonna take this chip. And this what? This how this how, how two thirds of these people gonna go off? By taking this microchip. Do you understand? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, just a pinch. Yeah. Pretty easy. Okay. Convenience. Uh, in a lot of ways, convenience. Um, you know, really eliminating what I have to carry in my, my pockets. Employee Tony Dana says the chip will be used for basic tasks, like getting in and out of the building, logging onto his computer, and buying snacks in the break room. And then to finalize your payment, you'll put your RFID chip, hold it against it. Now, my unique card that's identified with the RFID chip is asking if I'd like to put the dollar six on my chip. So, yes. Since word got out about the chips, Three Square has been contacted by hospitals, universities, even the U.S. and foreign governments about the technology. Imagine being able to travel without a passport or worry about losing it. Just hold your hand up and then all the documentation comes up. The company says this particular chip is not capable of GPS, but they admit that could be in the future. In That's a lie. To the house, to the house, shit. Lock the door. Devil outside. Anyway, there's a lie, bro. These people, 
These people, you can tell me they now put a GPS in the thing. Radio frequency identification. They now get a microchip that get uh, GPS. If they get a microchip GPS in your dog. This way, this way, <laughs> there's so much thing I can talk. This way, these people is known as the devil of the earth, the wicked of the earth, the devil, which goes back to the word Diablo, which means deceiver. They're deceiving people, saying anything and no, no, no GPS. They're deceiving you, claiming that you know it's just a, a means of, of, of being safe, not being robbed. No identity theft. Easy so that you could, you could scan it and then you could see all the problems in your body and stuff like that. SN12 News. Reachware says the microchips are made in Taiwan. The company ordered 60 of them. The cost of each chip is believed to be about four A small chip the size of a grain of rice was implanted into the hands of more than 50 employees at Reachware Tuesday morning. It's a bag of devils. So I can't write the scripture. I'll show you what is the mark of the beast. And just to show it's not a tattoo. And I say it again, it's not a tattoo. It's not a tattoo. It's not a tattoo saying 666 is not a tattoo. That is just ink. Right. So listen to the scripture now. It's Revelation 13 and verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as that many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed if you worship the soca white ass cracker would have bring in and portraying as as yahweh shai mashiach the holy words in the car jesus furthermore the white ass nigga is jesus the white ass cracker is jesus you understand the image that the push of yahweh shai being white that is the image of the beast right verse 16 and he caused it all, all, both small and great, this young man and old man, right? Small and great, rich and poor, rich man with all the bread in the pocket, and the man, you know, was just struggling from a day to day, working for passage money when the man come. Free and bond, the man out of jail, man in jail, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. Yeah, they're going to receive a right a right. A mark in the right hand in the foreheads, right? So, so you got a uh, better understanding with the, of the word mark. I'm gonna go into this uh, blue letter. The what the hell, bro? Oh, let me run to you. All right, we need to do that the Bible. You want to understand the scripture? You gotta go back into the Greek. And the you know the Hebrew stuff. So because this week this week I gotta know this is the origin of the word. So you gotta know where it come from, what it means, right? Let me see this way if I can play across. And we we move from the spirit to Yahweh Hashem So you know everything should be okay. Okay, let me go into the word mark. Mm mm. Mm mm. What you doing, man? See, Shatan want to play a cross. Shatan must be monitoring me phone right now. Oh, what the neck? Come on, man. I can go back out and go back in. Once more, again. For real, bro. Alright, got a means for you. <sighs> My sword. Anyway, good. Alright, so. This is Strong's G5480. We're going to check it up. 
right? The translation of the word is karagma. We say karagma, but you know, phonetic, phonetic karagma, right? It means a stamp, an imprinted, imprinted mark of a mark stamped or on the forehead or the right hand of as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses, things carved, sculpture, graven work. You could, <laughs> anyway, sculpture, graven work, and idolatrous images. Right, origin from the same as Strong's G5482. Uh, mm -mm. Strong's definition from the same as Strong's G5482. It means a scratch or etching. Right, that is stamped as a badge of the servitude or sculptured figure, statue graven. Right, they go and search the word imprinted. Let's see what's it about. I don't have everything in like I'm searching up stuff. So, imprinted, right? Established or impressed firmly in the mind. It's just like, you know, so the word imprinted, the imprinted just means to be, you know, like, sticked in or, or, or pressed in firmly. You know, so it won't move, so it won't come out. Or, you know, it wouldn't be removed easily. Right? Mark or stamp with or as if with pressure. So, basically, I'm not take a, a hot iron and brand new. They can imprint this thing, this this thing within your skin, because the word karagma, for me, I go way back. It goes back into the word incision, right? So, these people, the mark in this scripture means the in the incision, or a cutting, or etching, or or something like that, right? Just to put it in better words for you. Cutting or etching. So the word mark means incision, karagma, right? So, these people making an incision within your hand to put this chip in, right? Good. Going on. Verse 16, and he cut it all both small and great, which and poor to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Seen with this mark, you can you could buy or sell. You can't buy or sell with a tattoo, right? You can't buy or sell with a tattoo. That makes sense. When well, one year go now with your tattoos that you have and go and buy a car. Buy a drink. Furthermore, go buy a one dollar sweetie, bro. Little lock and yeah, you can't buy yourself with ink. This is the point. This mark is where you got the same straight to the scripture that you you got buy yourself with it. So the tattoo thing cut out right away. The straight cut out. The mark of the beast is not a tattoo. It's the same mark, the same incision of this microchip. This will be a frequency chip that you will be receiving, that people will receive. Some will not receive it. This will be the fate. This is one real far, 4,000 elect men. And the one third. Right, so. Save he that had the mark. Or the number of his name. Yeah, because he wouldn't be killed. He wouldn't be guillotined. People going to be chopping people's head off. People going to be starving in the day. Who wouldn't receive this mark? Well. The men of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai will, you must say, servants gonna eat. We gonna eat. You understand? But for the other people, for the others, you know, the the, the one, the, the, the two third of Israel, Salakia, the two third of Israel, you know, and the other nations, they gonna receive this mark because what not? They don't want to starve. Because gonna be great famine in the day. Yeah. Good. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three scores and six. 
This is not a, this is a precept in Revelation 14 and 10. This is the this is what gonna happen for the people who who you know receive this mark, you know and accept. Basically, when you receive this mark, you're showing Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that you don't get faith in here and and the so-called white man, the devil, the wicked of the earth is your power, is your God, you know. Because you can make famine come on this earth, you can make things happen, and you're gonna believe. Going on, this is Revelation 14 and 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. So, you're gonna get it full blown, you're gonna get it watered down, bro. You're gonna get it full blown, you understand? Obliteration. They are going to be cleansed when no more finish with y'all. And he shall be tormented with fire and with brimstone, with terminal nuclear missiles. Y'all will be tormented with. They are going to feel the heat before it even come. In the presence of the holy angels, this is the hundred and forty four thousand elect men. And in the presence of the Lamb of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. They are going to be in the presence of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, who the world they can be called, you know. Jesus or JC, however, Yeshua, however, but his true name is Yahweh Shai, right? The Hebrew name. Verse 11 And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. Imagine it amongst the people. Imagine those people who can be burned up in the day, bro. Destruction. Yagam is like forever burning. Right, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast of his image, which is the damn white Jesus picture. The old land flowing here, the gay ass faggot, ass blue eye, the damn cursed skin that they get, the leprosy ass skin, the can't take sun. That's the image of the beast. The so called white Jesus. You understand? And whosoever received the mark of his name, which is the microchip, the mark of his name, which is the number, which is 666, is the embargo code within the microchip. These people wouldn't tell you all these things. They're going to deceive you all. You understand? Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh, Pahasham, Yahweh Shai, and the faith of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. You understand? Verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in Yahweh, Pahasham, Yahweh Shai, from henceforth, yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Yahweh yeah, we wouldn't forget our works. He not forget the one hundred four four thousand. He won't forget the one third. He wouldn't forget this work. He put you stand up in the four corners, highways and byways, pushing this truth, so that you could wake up at lunch. How we could do is hope and pray that you know. We is one of the hundred and five four thousand. God is why pushing for. And so everybody should be pushing for. The greatness. You know? But anyway, let me straight off from the topic. God uh, Another precept. All in Revelation. This Revelation twenty and verse four. Right? And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheld, beheaded, so like you're beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, this should this bring joy to me, boy. You know what I mean? People can, people can be beheaded, people can be tormented, and the people that I'm speaking of is the so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, the 12 tribes of Israel, and the 104,000 elect men out of that. 
and the one third. You understand? People who will be saved of Israel. Master blessed are they who get the hair chop off, who get the foot chop off, who were tormented, who was, you know, break down in the in, in the days of when they were preaching this word, who pushing this truth in the four corners, highways and byways. You understand? And gone. So get back the scripture the part today. Good beheaded for the witness of Yahweh and Yahushai and for the words of Yahweh and which and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. Yeah, we don't worship the so called white cracker image, the Jesus shit. You understand? We don't accept the image. That's the kind of Revelation 1 and 13. He's a so-called black man. You understand me? Everybody who, who's pray every night with a so-called white Jesus shit in the head. This is just the image of the beast you are worshipping. This is why two thirds of the people got go off. Cause everybody loves Jesus. Now you come with the true name, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. They want to accept it. Right. Neither had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands. It could be any hand. Right. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh and Mashiach a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. On such the second death had no power, but they shall be priests of Yahweh and of Yahweh Shai and shall reign with them a thousand years. Understand? So, the people, the mark of the beast is not. A tattoo it is this microchip that you see we're gonna push forth this is why they're pushing the, in Guyana right now they're pushing a set of lantern posts why the guy is lantern posts guys see new lantern posts going in places doing get no road in the trees between bushes who going to live there you don't put on lantern posts before you put road that makes sense hmm what sense does make I see lantern posts going our lantern posts going on last year and next one going right next to it and this lantern post still good and new, you know. And a brand new one going next to it. A taller lantern post though. Yeah, I think it's nice time. One set of posts going down in this place. Yes, so what? There's beacons. There's, there's set, you know, antennas and those stuff for this, for this chip for implement. In Jamaican train, that they, they, they don't get this this ID card. That get your passport. They get your, uh, your, your license. Your ID and everything on it. They can just bring it in slow for y'all, slow one by one. Now they get everything on one card, everything go on one chip, and everything go in the skin. This is the transformation of it. So, this message is for the 104,000 elect men and one third of Israel, who are the so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. It's an army for this. I will always mention who are the Israelites. You understand? So, this message here, yeah, just listen up. One third, listen. You understand? Two thirds could listen it too, but they ain't got for, they ain't got for abide, they ain't got for adhere to it. Once y'all hear, cause once when the time come, and the man pour out his rod without power, y'all can't say y'all didn't hear. So, let's see, if I cut it off on the, let's see from Bible again, he had a scripture. Margo, next day, God, me sword. This phone thing I using for y'all, you know, just for y'all see what going on with this scripture. Cause we don't bend scripture. We are GMS, create millstone. We don't bend scripture. We just bring it straight out of the blocks, just how it is. But people can see these things and and can it can be stumbling blocks onto them. Cause y'all bash them, y'all ain't dealing with them. First thing they get the wrong name. So the Christianity can't break down with the market the beast for y'all. Right, so 
With that being said, I'll be answering Shalom, bracket on till another time. I'm gonna make another video shortly. And it's coming and it's coming. I guess bring it coming. God now is a time for you know push real prophecies out to the people. You know, just not gonna be a family of the word and think then be my next video. Yeah, look out for the family of the word video. So yeah, take heed. Yeah, not see we on part four, part seven bus park anymore soon. Real thing. Shalom, Brakata, until another time.